That verse you just read is one that I hear quoted to me a lot when somebody's talking about, well, see, we're not, we're, we're free from the law of, of sin and death. We're, we're, but they're, they're like, they're saying law. They're, they're thinking law. But this says sin and death, and that's two different things, right? It's we're not free from the law. Much, we're free from the law of actual sin and death, but we're not free from the law. Yeah. Or am I missing and, something here? No, 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 you're exactly right. And yeah, all of these texts, they're interpreted, and the greasy grace movement, call it what you want, uh, the no grace movement, the sin movement, basically— Or the God knows my heart movement. Yeah, I, I hear that a lot too. Oh yeah, yeah, and it's basically a get out of jail free card to do whatever you want to do, and it's a way to live. It's to soothe your conscience while you're doing things you know you shouldn't, and it's a false assurance of salvation, is what it is, and it's deadly. There's just too many scriptures where Jesus is saying, "Deny yourself, follow me," and then yeah. how many other scriptures? I mean, there are countless scriptures about dying to yourself and. You're you're crucified. The old man is dead, and you you've resurrected. I mean, there's just too many. And the law of sin and death. Number one, Ezekiel eighteen and four: the soul that sinneth that shall die. Romans six twenty three. We got it in the New Testament too. For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Sin kills. That's law of sin and death. You cannot sin without dying spiritually. I mean, you might think you can, but that's the law of sin and death right there. Also, the law of sin and death, we could get into text in Romans 7, that if you're a believer and you're delivered from, let's say, pornography, and you say, well, I can wash this a little bit, won't hurt. You watch it again, you're in bondage again. You see, when you're delivered from something, sin is uh there's the dominion of sin it talks about so whether you know it could be anything alcohol take your pick if you're set free from sin and you go back into sin again you'll come back into the bondage of sin hmm. you say yeah. that's the law of sin and death that's the way it is uh doesn't matter if you don't believe it and you know that's what it is that's the truth and it, even Anybody knows that's right, and that's the law of sin and death. And we're set free from the law of sin and death by the spirit of life in Christ because the Holy Spirit has imparted unto us to overcome that, you see. It's Amen. beautiful, Amen. and it's by, it's by grace, you see. It's by grace. And up in Romans 7, we've talked about these texts before. Romans chapter 7 is the failure of even the apostle Paul to live the Christian life by faith. And how many times have you heard the phrase, there's these people, they'll, um, they'll have a period of at least some kind of a Christian life, and they'll say, I tried to live it, and I just couldn't. That's the telltale clue right hmm. there. I tried. <laughs> you know, that's the problem right there. I, I'm probably <laughs> guilty of that. I probably say... I'm trying my best, or yeah, I probably say stuff like that all the time, not really thinking what I'm actually saying. And there's a place for our consecration and our discipline and our efforts in things. Yeah, if you didn't have that, you couldn't work hours to do the DLC. But when it when it comes to the sin problem, you cannot overcome sin by human effort. Until we see sin as the ugly monster it is, it's so big, it's so huge, it is so deep within our fallen nature, there is no way to overcome the law of sin and death except by being set free by the law of the spirit of life in Christ, by grace, right there. Amen. Amen. 